I'm the uh, co-founder of the Ni National Stearman Fly-In. Uh, my friend Jim Leahy from Galesburg, Illinois and I uh, started the fly-in together uh, in the early 1970s, had the first one in 1972. Jim originally came up with the idea of having a fly-in and uh, he suggested to me that we should ought to get the Stearmans together and, uh, and when we finally decided to do it, uh, he and I worked together to get it started. He had a lot of connections with uh, air show people and stuff and uh, he did a lot of that work and I did all the legwork on getting the paperwork and addresses and stuff like that. I am the president of the National Stearman Fly-In. Um, I began as a volunteer in 1995. Um, and just started volunteering for the weekend event and it's grown to a full week-long event and they can see the planes on the flight line. We've got tram rides that they can see. Um, we've got other events going on this week, a little unusual. We've got the Clydesdale horses, Budweiser Clydesdales that are here this week in conjunction with another organization's 75th anniversary. Um, we've got static displays from the Air National Guard. We've got the B. 25 bomber on display. I mean, so we've got a lot of things for people to see this week. The attendance number as far as Stearman planes, we have registered so far in excess of 150 planes that are here. Uh, from a participation standpoint, we probably have about 600 people here that maybe have Stearmans or flew in other types of planes to get here. It is a record for Stearmans. Uh, 141 was the last largest number that we had ever. I am not a, a steerman owner at all and I'm not a pilot. Um, I'm just a community volunteer uh, living in Galesburg and we have about 500 volunteers that work through us for us throughout the entire week so it takes a village to make this event happen. So this is only my second one. I came in 2019, and then last year, of course, we, you know, like everybody else, couldn't have the event. And so we're all back this year in, in force. Favorite part of coming to this event? Well, uh, so one of the things I really love doing, uh, formation flying. I actually uh, have a card, and, and some of us here fly in some air shows around the southeast. And uh, last year, two years ago now, we won the formation contest, so a little bit of competition here this time. We're anxious to do that again. That's really the daily highlight event for the show or the flyouts. The, the Midwest welcoming attitude of the farmers around here and then some of the county airports that have grass strips. They just lay out a huge lunch spread for us and we all get together and fly out there and the people are just so welcoming. The corn is delicious. It's just about ready to be harvested. Obviously, some of it's already been and just, just absolutely wonderful. I don't know exactly, but I'm thinking the first flying I was at down here was over 30 years ago. Yeah. I hadn't really developed that niche yet in the air show industry. I was getting pretty good with the airplane, although I hadn't dropped down to surface level where I was using ground effect to uh, perfect my show. I don't get down here every year. Sometimes air show schedules had uh, conflicted with it, but I came down here probably at least every five years or so. 10 years ago, I performed here for the last time that I performed here as a show. What I really like about it is we're all like-minded people. We're all Stearman lovers, and we talk about technical things. We talk about the restorations that we've done. Uh, the painstaking work that's involved in the restoration, where we find parts and pieces, what works better than this other part or piece, and uh, it, it's just the camaraderie of this event and the Stearman restorers that are here and the Stearman pilots. We all speak the same language. We all have this common bond. It's, uh, it's pretty special. I actually grew up about 20 miles from here, a small town called Alito. My dad ran a crop dusting business. He brought me as a little kid to this fly and he's, uh, and we've been, and I've been coming ever since. So I've been actually, I'm 48 years old. I've been coming to this fly in for 40 years. It's truly a fly in, fly in. This one we get in every day, every morning to go for a morning flight. Every lunch is a different fly in to a different airport. Uh, the camaraderie here, uh, the friends, it's just a, a memorable experience for me.
What does it mean after reaching 50 years? It's kind of mind-boggling thinking about that it, 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 it's lasted this long and uh, the interest has grown. We've spread our interest amongst not only our uh, Sturman community, people that have Sturmans, but uh, the community of Galesburg has uh, supported this tremendously over all this period of time. And uh, it's just, uh, I guess I'm just kind of grateful that it's really lasted this long and I hope it will, certainly hope that it will continue to last for uh, many more years to come. <laughs>